in 2004, I used to watch the uh, History Channel on Sunday mornings. They had a show on called History Center that I liked. And uh, there was a show on before that called History's Business at 8.30 to 9. So Larry Silverstein was on this show, History's Business. And Larry was the owner of World Trade Center 7, who had taken over the tower complex. He talked about 9-11. At the end, the host said to Larry, uh, very matter-of-factly, he says, he asked him a question. He says, what happened to 7? And I had been perplexed about it. Larry, very matter-of-factly, said... Building 7 was a controlled demolition, using those words. I wasn't suspicious. It was like a head slap moment for me. I, I said, oh, that makes sense. And the implication, I think he even talked about, it was so, so damaged and for safety reasons, they took it down. And he actually, Larry Silverstein himself, you say, used the words controlled demolition. I would swear in a courtroom, that's what he said, yes. Is this the quote where he says that the decision was made to pull it? I remember getting a call from the uh, fire department commander telling me that they were not sure they were going to be able to contain the fire. And I said, you know, we've had such terrible loss of life. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull, and then we watched the building collapse. No, that was on Frontline in September okay. 2002. This had to be 2004. Well, when he said that, and, you know, I said, oh, that made sense. I wasn't asking... You know, when would there have been a chance to set the charges or anything? I didn't think about that. I thought they could do it. And by the way, when I when I started to realize that there was something wrong, I contacted the History Channel. Every show for years, they would say, if you want this show on DVD or CD or DVD or VHS, you know, just call this number or go to this website. Well, I called them about that show and I asked about it and they told me that series was not available to the public. You know, the show certainly existed. I saw it. I'm not making this up. I have no reason to make it up. I'm a 58-year-old engineer. It doesn't behoove me to do that.